YouTube, General Pup here, and today I'm going to show you the Clone Craft mod 1.6.4. This mod will bring in a clone of yourself or whoever you want into Minecraft, and you're able to do tell them whatever you want to do. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to start off, guys, by just saying the crafting recipes. So here we go. This is the needle, empty needle, right now. And to make that, you need five iron ignits and type of end shape on the top and then one gold ingot at the bottom uh, this is the antenna which is needed to get electricity which I'll show you later so just three iron on one side three iron on the other side and three iron down the middle and it'll give you I'm pretty sure 16 antenna which is a good deal actually next is the centrifuge which you need four pistons st not sticky pistons but regular pistons in each corner four iron ignits on the outer sides that need to be filled up and one dime in the middle and the last is the what is it called? empty test tube to make that I'm pretty sure you just get one so you put glass in a pants form and then you get one glass empty test tube I keep forgetting what it's called so I'm going to show you first how to get blood and who you can get blood from you can get blood from Cows, chickens, pigs, horses, uh, uh, withers, I'm pretty sure you could get it from zombie pigmen. Anything, including yourself, um, except for, I think, the ender dragon. And you could do whatever you want with them, pretty much. Except, well, it's kind of just like a spawn egg. But it's pretty cool, actually. So, I'm going to first show you how to get a animal. So, I'll get this mushroom blood, black eyes. So all you do, you just click him by hitting him, and with the, of course, with the needle, and you get his blood. So this is now mushroom blood, and I'm going to kill this mushroom right now before he becomes. Just come back here. Come, okay. So once you got one blood, I'm going to get myself. So my blood. All you do is right click, and now I have human blood. Mushroom human. Mushroom human. Okay. So with this. Mushroom and human blood, you could start off by putting it in the crafting bench. Yeah, the crafting bench. So the mushroom plus an empty test tube will give you mushroom cow blood. And the contaminated, now now contaminated, empty needle. And I'll just put human blood like the same. And now I got human blood and again contaminated needle. So these contaminated needles you can't use right now. But you will be able to use once you put in something, and I'll show you later. So once you have this human and mushroom and blood and cow and stuff, then you put it in the centrifuge. So I'm going to put in the centrifuge just like that. And to power the centrifuge, you would need to put coal, wood, whatever you want that powers fuel. So I'll just put it like that and click spin. Now this will take a long time. It also have a, f a sound that's kind of annoying, and also this really cool, really really cool little uh, animation yeah animation which is really cool spinning our blood there as you can see right through this blocks and right through this block for some weird reason look at, the, look at that just look at that it's so cool so that is going to take a while it'll p take about 30 seconds i would say so as that is going i'm going to turn off my sound because it's very annoying so as that is going i'm going to show you the other things so, to clean your needles, your contaminated, disgusting, ugly, dirty needles, you need to put them in this. And this is a uh, sterilizer. To make a sterilizer, three iron ignite on the either side, one bucket in the middle, middle, and redstone in the bottom, bottom. So, bottom, middle, sorry. So, to power this, you don't need fuel or anything. What you actually need is fire. Yes, fire. So, just do that, that, and as you can see, it'll start bubbling. So all you do is throw your contaminated. Oh. Yeah. Why isn't this working? Um, check in. No? Okay. This was working a little bit before. Maybe... Um, let me check on the... Uh... Let's see. Sorry about this, guys. I'm very sorry. Um... That in there and let's see. Once you just think of oh well pop it off and it's on the ground and just stay clean. Okay.
Yeah. Chuck your dirty needle in there. Hmm. Um, well, that should be one. Let me see. Chuck your dirty. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, this isn't working. But what should happen is you have to get these bubbles. Oh, and to put the water in, of course, you need to get a bucket of water, just like this, and pop. You just put it in there. So, right now it's already in there, so it's not going to work. But, yeah, so, let me try it again. Yeah, it's just popping out. This is weird. Maybe if I break it and do it over again. Yeah. So, let's get it again. Uh, sterilizer. That was a fail. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Let's grab that, grab that. And maybe you need to put the fire, then the water. And then let's see if that works. Oops. Oh, okay. That's a little weird. For some reason, you have to put the fire and then the water. Uh, I don't really know why. But then I'll make that cool, um, again, animation which the bubbling comes up and I do have my particles on all the way all so yeah so now our blood is separated and done spinning so I just take the human separated blood and the separated mushroom cow blood and I'll take those two things so once this is done cooking I guess I don't know scrubbing okay which it just finished Let's see there's one oh, and there's two okay so then you put these empty needles again, non contaminated, into here, and I'll get the it's mushroom. Now I'll get mushroom, because I put the mushroom in there, mushroom DNA. So that's that, and then I'll get the separate human, and that's that. So now I got these two things. So then to make actual human egg, you would put human DNA plus an egg. Like, oh, wait. Oh, first you need to make an empty egg, of course. Because else you just have an egg and you'll get yolk and everything. It's all disgusting. So you just put an egg in a crafting bench and you get an empty egg just like that. And it'll pick two. So then you put one in there with your DNA. And now I have an unactivated mushroom cow spawn egg. So I put the mushroom DNA in there. And I'll get the human one. And I'll put that in there. And there I got two. Two unactivated spawn eggs. Now you're probably wondering how the heck do you activate this thing. Now to activate it you need to use antenna. So... What the fudge just happened? Okay, luckily I don't need any of those things now. Okay, that was weird. I just broke it and the whole thing exploded. I don't know if you that mean. Jeez. But um, I'll put the life transmitter down again. And I'm pretty sure yeah, I showed you. Yeah, that showed you. How, wait, if you didn't, if I didn't show you, three iron egg now on the side, golden, golden, and get on top middle, soul sand, and chest. Okay. So then with these antennas, you first. Now it's empty. See no blue. It's really annoying. Pick it all up. Okay. So first on the first one you have to shift, see I'm shifting, and then click or else you'll just go into the GOI like that. And then you'll go about, I don't know, fifteen up is fine. Let's go about fifteen. And then this is your wire for lightning to strike and then get your, your um eggs that are not cooked yet or not activated yet so I think that's about good let's go one more okay so then you'll usually just wait for lightning but right now I'm going to just flick this funny looking lever with this pink or purple wool and there you go so I just activated thunder and here we go so I'm gonna turn my sound up because it sounds pretty cool when it strikes so here we go sound uh the rain is loud though so just wait We're waiting, we're waiting. Okay. Well, that's that. Turn it a little down. Okay. Um, let's wait. Almost done. Probably. Come on. Strike ready. Do do do. Okay, there we go. I just. Oh, look at that. Just. Did you hear that? That. Did you look at that? That was awesome. So I see lightning strike from the tip. Wait, did I even. Ah, oh, I didn't even. I didn't even put my. That just struck. Oh, wait, okay. Well, it struck the box and it made um, energy right there, so I could just put these eggs in and they become unactivated. 
just like that. Or you can put them in before, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So let me just clear that weather, turn that sound a little lower, and make it uh, time clear. Okay, just struck again. Oh, stop that. There we go. Okay, so now I have my spawn eggs that are not act that are activated now. So let's see what I can do with these things. So just put all this junk over here. So the mushroom or any other animal is pretty much the same as just a regular spawn egg. So glitch. Okay, so I'm just gonna spawn it over here so it doesn't ruin everything. So there's a mushroom. It doesn't do anything special, so you can't really do anything. But now the human egg is what the real stuff is. So I'm just gonna plop it down. Ready? Are you guys ready? Hope you're ready. Ready? 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 Are you guys ready? 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 Okay. Human on egg. Ready? Set and boop. There's Steve. So I just created Steve, and right now he is. Uh, I heard bubbling. So. Okay. So this is Steve. He is a regular human right now. He doesn't do any. Oh, I'm going wild. So he's just a regular human, doesn't do anything, but you could give him things. So I have this chest full of bunch of stuff. Stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Put some junk over there. Do 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 do. Yep, that's okay. So you could just throw him armor or anything, pretty much. And he'll put it into his inventory, which looks like this. This is his inventory, and this is my inventory. So, first I'm just going to show you that you could throw him a leather helmet. He'll put the leather helmet on automatically. But, if this, if some type of armor is not as good as the second one that you're throwing, say as you throw, throw that diamond one, and it'll automatically switch to that diamond one, which is pretty cool. So, I'm just throwing all this armor, including these tools. Because he could also mine for you and do all those things. So as you see, he just popped them right there. And now he's got all these things. So second, I'm going to show you that you can actually change his name. See how his name is Steve? You could change in options. Go over here. And you could change it to whatever Minecraft character you want. And it'll actually get the skin of that Minecraft character. So I'm going to get General Puppy. Okay, there we go. So as you see, under that armor... There is my face, and there is him, and look at me. That's me, that's him, that's me, that's him. Okay, I don't know if you just heard that ding. But, um, so you can also just change it to anybody else. So I know one friend, his name is Na. So let's do Na5000. And there's his screen. Skin. Okay, um, stop. I'm recording. Okay, sorry about that. So now you can. Oh, I'm not gonna leave. This, what? 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 Invisible. Okay. So now this is his skin. So yeah, I'm gonna just change it right back to mine though, cause I like mine a lot better. General puppy. Puppy. Seven or oh net. So there we go. And back to me. So, this guy could do a whole bunch of things for you. So, first, I'll show you in the options. Wait. Yeah, in the options, he's able to fight, sprint, follow, break blocks, break through, break roughly blocks, pick up items, walk through items, you know, walk through, retaliate, guard position, wander, jump on attack, stats, female, curious, and farming. So, first, I'm going to show you the fight. So, I just turn that on, click done, and if I get a spawn egg, which I will right here, I have that and that. Right now, he won't attack, which is very sad because he's just dying. Because you have to turn on entities to attack. So, right now, really quickly, I'm just going to select all mobs, and he's going to start attacking them. So, you see, he's looking for the zombie, and he's going to go attack him. So, since I did that very quick, I'm going to show you again. Entities to attack under options. And as you can see, all of the entities are here. Every single one of them. So, you could unselect all right now. Select all if you want to, um, to kill... Peaceful items, pigs, sheep, cows, spawn eggs, whatever, you, all those things. Or unselect. Or you could just select certain mobs. Or you could just select, unselect, animals. So over there, you got animals. Or, if you want, you could just select whatever ones you want. So let's see, you want those. So as you can see, he's already starting to kill things. 
Oh no. Oh wait, what? Oh, that's cool. It just comes up with the sound. So I'm just gonna select all right now. So I won't let him kill anybody. And yeah, that's that part. And now you can also go into and blocks to break. So these are all of the blocks. All of the blocks. So you could either select every single of them. So I'll select the logs and the ores. No. Logs. Yeah, okay, there, the logs and the ores. Or you could just select them by hand. Um, I wish they had the select all, which I don't see anywhere. But anyways, so, or you could just type it in here. So I'll type in a uh, dirt. Yeah, so there's dirt. Um, so I'm going to show you other things. There's not just fight, there's sprint, which I don't sprint, of course. You no, know. follow, which he'll follow me around. So if I move over here, he'll start following me. You'll try to stop following me if you could jump off that chest. You could do it. I, I believe in you. You could do it. Okay, you can't do it. Or, okay, there you did it. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off. Actually, I'm going to keep that on. He could break blocks, um, which I'll show you right now if you turn that on. And I'll just do all the ores and all the logs. And over here, I have some ores. So if you see, I'll put the block down and he'll break it just like that um, I'll put it again to put a bunch of these now you can see he's not mining the cobblestone cuz I do not have him listed as come back here nope okay now he's going on a rampage he's breaking everything he's breaking everything I'm off I shouldn't have done that log come back over here come on junior little glitchy over there okay so I don't like that follow that's actually annoying so um he is not mining that cobblestone because I have, do not have it clicked on so if I click it on he will oops oh I have to make him break blocks of course and he just mined that so I'm no, okay, he's going back on a rampage. Unselect. And come over here. Okay, and I turn the follow off. Really, I gotta organize on this. Okay, come over here. Okay. Really? I know you could jump. Jump. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, jump, 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 jump. I really don't like hitting myself because it hurts me. Just, okay, just walk around. Jump, no. Move, 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 move. And follow. Yes, finally. Thank you. Thank you. I should really get a gate for this guy. Okay, so I showed you the brick blocks. Um, I showed you the entities to attack. And there's more options over here. So follow on. I'm going to turn that off. Just let him stand still. Break blocks you saw. Break roughly blocks is a lot cooler and different. So I have to go over here. Break blocks um, this and all ores. So you can see I'll put this really okay so I'll put the cobblestone down right now uh, wait sorry diamond put the that got to turn it off for that though okay so I will put ore down so I'll put iron ore put some iron put some cobblestone on top and it on all around move Okay, just like that and as you can see you don't see it I don't see it no one sees it except for this guy this special special guy that's really annoying um, so I'll just go over here I let him break first the iron so beds all glitched out all ores and then cobblestone as you can quickly see he'll automatically 
dig through the cobblestone and find the iron. Okay, so just let him finish up there. He'll also pick up the blocks. So as you can see, his inventory over here shows wood, which he accidentally mined, coal, lapis, and weather. Clear. So I'm going to show you next that all the other things. So break blocks, you saw. Okay, pick up items. Now, if you don't want to pick up items, you can turn it off. But I had it on every time. Walk two items. So if you want him to walk to an item over there or something, um, ret retaliate, which means if something hits him, it'll automatically hit him again, even if he's not on fight. Guard position, you could set him in one spot, and if he sees a mob from over there, then he'll attack the mob and go right back to that spot. Wander, he'll just kind of like wander around like a village villager does. Jump on attacks is what like a spider does. Stats, I'm not really sure. Female, again, that's a little weird. So I'm pretty sure if you want one like a female or a male. So right now, I'm going to keep mine as a male, of course. Curious, I'm not sure. And then farming, which is the last one, which is this one I like a lot. If I get a hoe, so let's go get a hoe. And I get some seeds, so seeds over here. And put that over there. And if I get a hoe, a hoe, some hoe, some land. I guess this is a little farm. And then I place some seeds. And get some bone meal. What? Uh, did he pick up up? Okay. So get some bone meal. And I s put the bone meal onto the plants. So it becomes mature. And darn. And then I go to blocks to break because he has to break the crops. So I put him as crops. Um, options. He's able to block. As you can see, he just broke those plants. But you can also make him farm by there's somewhere over here. Let's see. Pick up, break, follow, sprint. Um, oh yeah, you have to give him seeds. Yeah, you have to give him seeds, that's why. So if you just give him seeds, and it has to be in the hotbar, if it's over here, it will not work. See, so he has those five seeds over there. So I'll just give him the seeds, and I'll put some more seeds down. Eh. Hold that. And I'll put some more bone meal down. He'll automatically do it, and he'll automatically put the seeds down automatically. I'm saying automatically a lot. So which is really cool. I really like this one. It's like an automatic farm. So you don't have to worry about my, your, you mining your farm. He'll just do it automatically. Again, automatically. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure that's all to this mod. Wait, I am lying. There is a bunch more. <laughs> now, this part is not... i just leave that. This part is... I don't think it's working right now exactly. Because when I tried to do it, my computer crashed. Or my Minecraft crashed, sorry. But I'll just show you the crafting recipes and some basics about it. Now, to make the DNA sequencer, you put three iron on each side, ink sacks, slime ball, and furnace in the middle. Bucket, corner, flint, corner, empty needle, furnace, diamond, iron block, three redstone like that, and you get a gene extractor. Um, if you go into here, you put one piece of paper there, one of any DNA of animals, so you could either get human DNA, you could get cow, chicken, you know, and then some coal, and then with that, once it's done loading over here, you'll get this piece of paper, and it'll have the genes on that. So I'm pretty sure if you have a chicken, you'll become smaller. If you have, um, you'll get the smaller gene. If you have the uh, squid, I'm pretty sure you could get underwater breathing and things like that. So once you do that, you put the gene paper thing in there, right there. Um, you put uh, contaminated, yes, contaminated needle there. You put some coal there. You put some of these things. For, I keep forgetting what they're called. Test tubes there. Put some test tubes there and test tubes there. And you'll get your items back here, like your test tubes. And down here, you'll get the genes for it. So these test tubes, I'll show you right now. Um, you'll get these things. So there's, uh, there's speed decrease, increase, aggressive, passive, large, small, um, teleport, jump marine, fireproof, all these things. And you'll get, and you'll get them. 
And I haven't seen what mutating bacteria does. It's pretty cool. Looks pretty cool at least. So then you go over to your crafting bench. You put them in there like that. Like just in there pretty much. And you put one needle in one spot. It doesn't really matter I don't think. And then you'll get a needle with mutated... Oh, is that what it means? I don't know. And then you'll get a needle with mutation or a bunch of genes put together. And then you do the exact same thing with before. You um, put it with a, an egg and you get the egg and then you get the mob. And then if you do a human, a human gene with... This is really confusing. A human gene with these jump boost, increase speed, all those things. It will have those powers and breathe underwater and all those things. So that is really cool. It gives like your mobs upgrades. So, I'm just gonna... so it gives your mobs upgrades and yeah. So also teams is, I'm not really sure exactly what it does right now. And copy clone. You can also copy your clone. In creative, I'm not sure if it's just in creative, but if I copy my clone here, as you can see, two of them just split from each other, which is really weird. And he'll have the exact same items, the exact same items. I don't know which one switch now. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the mod. You can also transfer XP, so if he has XP, you'll get it. I think I just got like two there right now or something. So to end this video off, I'm going to kill my clones. Yes, you heard me kill my clones. And with this little kill button over here, I guess if you don't want your, if you don't want your clones anymore, You'll click the kill, as you see it'll get redder, 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 until it's very red, and it'll explode. I just died. Yes. And then that kind of cool little animation will come, which I really like. And so I'll just kill this guy really quick. Boom. And that little animation. Okay. So that's cool. And that is pretty much the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this mod, it will be in the description for you to download. And I do recommend this mod. This mod, I'm pretty sure I'm going to start using because I really do like it. It is a little confusing in the beginning, but you do kind of get used to it. As you can see, I'm still a little confused, though. So, but I'm confused with everything because it's me. And, just, okay. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you like this mod. Please leave a like and subscribe if you do not already. And bye guys. Hope you guys liked.